Hey, what's up guys, DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and today we're gonna be doing a showcase for the brand new strength cheerleader, Yayurozo. You can see her there on the left. Now, she does a couple of really interesting things. She gives characters the ability to make a last stand with her plus ultra. She increases skill impact with her plus ultra. Her action skills allow her to increase team's defense and heal. She also, with an auto skill, increases the max HP of all strength characters on the team. And then, what was the last one? I gotta take a quick look. Her last auto skill... Increases characters plus ultra gauge by 20% when the battle starts and also regenerates HP of all allies by 10% when HP is below 50%. So that is also a really, really good ability. This Yayurozo is going to be interesting in the future. I don't know if she's quite exactly meta in PvP yet. She's definitely meta when it comes to all of the PvE content. She is absolutely meta. Really, really, really good for the USJ. Really, really, really good for the VE Tower. But as far as PvP, I don't think she's quite on Najiri's level yet, as with some testing that I've done. We'll kind of see that here. I might actually lose this battle. But with we don't know what characters are coming out in the future, right? And so maybe with some other characters in the future, she will become more meta. It's just we'll see when we get there. Right now, Najiri is probably still a little more meta because she increases plus ultra and gives you that turn three plus ultra with all characters. So to kind of make up for that, I am using a memory on Yayu Rozo that gives characters a plus ultra when HP drops below 30%. So if Yayu Rozo does get targeted the first turn, like I think she will, because she has the lowest health, then she'll drop below 30%. And then she will increase the plus ultra gauges of endeavor and all might here and we should be able to get a plus ultra turn three or turn four hopefully with them now yeah rosa's own abilities do increase her own plus ultra gauge so she'll get it like turn three no matter what unfortunately it doesn't increase the plus ultra for the whole team that would have been nice if they threw that in but she's already so kitted i guess they're like nah we we can't do that that'd be broken so i am taking on a 319,000 team you can see there and then if you look at my vp it's only 289,000. Now I am pretty high in the leaderboard or the brackets right now. I'm in top one. I will eventually get the legend. I've just been kind of slacking off this season. I'm not there yet. So I will say it's hard for me to find people where I can try different teams from my normal team. Cause like my normal team, you can see it's 350, 315,000 there. And I usually like perfect <laughs> people with that team. But this team here, is not that so it's going to be hard for me to find people that are around the same bp as this team so i just have to fight somebody that's going to be higher than me so keep that in mind when we're doing this showcase i may not win but if this person was the same as me i do i should theoretically have the type advantage for the most part so i should be able to win but we will we will see <laughs> that blue kirishima scares me and so is the blue midoriya at the end i feel like that's going to ultimately be what ends up killing us but we'll have to wait and see, huh? All right, and Todoroki and Endeavor have their little father-son dialogue there. Now, we are going to use Yayurozo's cannon first because it increases the character's plus ultra gauge, like I was saying before. And it also increases the scale impact of all allies. That is going to be really useful. We'll use that first. And then we'll use Endeavor's fire because it does a speed down effect. And then we'll use All Might's Oklahoma Smash because it gets increased skill impact when the character is in a speed down effect and we're gonna go after i think we go no yeah i'm really not sure who to go after here <laughs> let's go after todoroki maybe no no we get rid of our Araka. we get rid of our Araka. yeah so we'll do this this will increase skill impact obviously it's not gonna hit and then, okay, good. He did not freeze anybody, so dodge. Okay, reduce speed on Araka. Now all my hits really freaking hard. <laughs> nice. Oh man, and she's got her counter up. Rip. Forgot about that. I should I should really think things through better. Anyways, let's use this heal. We do know their Todoroki is going to use. Let's see if we can get Todoroki dead. Let's see if we can do that before he plus ultras us. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ah, no, wait, she's giving them evasion. Dang it, I really gotta think things through better. 
Okay, yeah. So Todoroki's going to hit someone here pretty hard, but we do have increased defense. Let's see how hard he hits us. I'm interested to see. Okay. That was pretty good defense, actually. I'm not upset about that. All right, let's use our plus ultras. Let's see who we can kill. Be all that we can be. And this should... All Might does already have a... Maybe he doesn't have a last stand. I'm pretty sure he does. I don't know. We'll see. But Yayu Rose is going to give our allies a last stand right here, which will be nice. All right, let's go All Might. Kill the Todoroki for me, please. Yep, Todoroki's dead. All right, let's kill... Araka here. Yep, come on, Endeavor. The number one and number two heroes. Ah, she still had her evasion. I forgot. All right, come on, Yayo Rosto. <laughs> Put in some numbers. 13,000, not bad, I guess. All right, yep. Mm -hmm. She counters everything. Lovely. We do have a last stand, as you can see there on the icons for All Might and Endeavor. However, I don't know how far that's going to get us when we're going against Blue Kirishima, who's going to bury her, and then they're just going to auto-attack, and we're going to lose. <laughs> All right. Luckily, we do have our own Blue Kirishima, but they're going to get the first move, so we'll see how this goes. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Get rid of his barriers. But he's going to counter us and hit us really hard. Because we are strength type. Oh. And I think... We do save for one more turn. So we get a full skill chain. Yeah, we'll save one more turn. Oh. <laughs> Kirishima's dead. Great. Okay, but we do have a full skill chain coming up, so we'll see how this goes. Realistically, let's get rid of Araka, because I just don't want to deal with her. Mm, yeah, and we can use the Frost next turn for a... Okay, Frostbite and Burning on Hawks, that's actually huge. All right, and we have Yayu Rose's heal. We'll go ahead and use that here. And we'll go Frostbite, and we'll go Flame Fist. And that's huge. Yayu Rose is still alive, barely. <laughs> and I don't want to use plus ultras here because Kirishima was just going to bury her them. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Do we use all three plus ultras just to get rid of his barrier? No, we're not even going to get to use all three because he's going to kill Yayu Rosa here. But so far, Yayu Rosa has done a great job for us. We have increased defense this turn. Endeavor still has a last stand. We have a chance to win this even though we're type disadvantaged. But we are going to lose Yayu Rosa here. I'll tap her ult just in case for some reason she doesn't die but i'm i'm yeah she's dead she's dead <laughs> can't do anything about it all right there's barrier one and two down he has his counter back up so he's going to get another barrier can't use our plus ultra yet unfortunately hopefully red todoroki survives the turn we'll see <laughs> and no <laughs> no the game just said no all right, so now we plus Ultra Kirishima. Get him out of the way at least. Or not. <laughs> and we lose. See, so... Something I want you guys to keep in mind as we finish up this PvP battle. We were 289,000. This was what? 311, 317. That is like a 20, almost 30,000 BP difference. And Yaya Rosa's ability to give these characters who I would argue are usually generally very squishy. The All Might and the Endeavor, if you've ever used them, they hit hard, but they're squishy. She has given them extra max HP. She has given them the ability to have a last stand. She has given them reduced damage. She has given them increased skill impact. Like, 
It's absolutely nuts. And then she heals on top of that. That is the only reason these guys have been along, alive as long as they have. And unfortunately, like this person was smart enough to put two blues as his rotation, as his subs. So we are type disadvantaged against that. But if it was an all green team or a green team in any other color but blue, like this team would have smacked that team. Just so you know. But like I said, where I'm at, where I'm ranked currently, it is hard to find teams like that. And I would not say that this Yayurozo is yet to be meta, but I, I, I do see it coming down the road. I see the possibilities of her being meta coming down the road. As soon as they introduce a memory that speeds up the plus ultra gauge for all characters that does what Najire's abilities do, as soon as they give us that memory, this Yayurozo is going to be meta because this Yayurozo is just going to be better, right? She's going to have all of this extra stuff, the power up, the skill impact, the damage reduction, the healing. And then we have the memory to increase the plus ultra of all characters. So once we get that, that's that, that's going to be a game changer. Now, I do know there's a memory in the shop that <laughs> increases all allies by like 80 percent or something like that. I'd have to look more into that. But I don't think that's exactly the type of memory I'm talking about. I think the memory I'm talking about is something that gradually, excuse me, increases the plus ultra over time. So while this Yayurozo may not be meta in PvP just yet, she is, I said it before, I, I may sound like a broken record, she is definitely meta in the USJ and meta in the VE tower, like so, so good. Really good for the USJ, like amazingly good for the USJ if you're trying to beat that on level five. But in PvP, not yet, but probably coming down the road, as soon as we get some sort of memory that increases the rate of plus ultra gauges or something like that. Maybe there already is one, a UR one, and I just haven't gotten it. Let me know in the comments if you know of such a memory that increases the rate that a plus ultra gauge fills up. A UR memory, not an SR one. I'm pretty sure there's SR ones, but they're not that great. So let me know if there's something like that already, but I don't think so yet. But that would be a good memory to equip to this Yayuroso, and if you have that, then this Yayuroso is very, very viable. All right, and <laughs> you saw the last stand come in clutch there with 53,000 damage hitting us. Unfortunately, <laughs> it wasn't enough to get us the dub. Oh, man. Anyways, guys, those are my P that was my PvP battle <laughs> and my showcase of the new Yayuroso. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. She is really, really, really interesting. I'm super happy that they added her into the game it's something different and we needed something different and i'm really happy to have a strength type healer as i said before in my previous video if you guys enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like commenting or subscribing and thank you for watching peace